briefly signs of narcissist friends and how to handle them. It is easy to become close um, friends with narcissists at uh, first because they can be supportive and attentive. They might try very hard to impress you and act like a great friend, but over time you might notice that they become selfish. So unsupportive, possessive, entitled, dismissive, are unreasonable and even aggressive at the time. So here are 15 signs that um, someone is a narcissist. The number one is they want compliments. So narcissist friends often um, seek praise and admiration because they struggle with their self-worth. Uh, they might ask you to like their social media post or fish for compliments by expressing fake insecurities. For example, they might say, um, your hair looks bad, right? Right? But you still look amazing today. Number two is they prioritize themselves. Narcissists often put their own needs first and lack empathy for their friends. If you have plans with a narcissist friend, they might arrive late with apo without apologizing and not understand why you are upset. If you express your needs, like say you can't meet for lunch later than 12 p.m., they might ignore you or accuse you of being selfish. Number three is conversations don't go deep. At first, narcissists might seem shy or private. However, they keep conversations shallow to avoid getting close to anyone. They often allow shared things about themselves if it makes them look good or helps them in some way. They also don't ask personal questions about you because they aren't really interested in others. They um, prefer to talk about themselves and avoid um, situations where they might need to be vulnerable. Number four, they aren't there when you need help. Narcissists often can recognize what um, other needs or how they feel unless it helps them in some way. This can mean uh, they avoid uh, talking about emotions, don't support you when you're having a tough time, or even speak negatively about you when you are struggling. Number five is expect when it benefits them. While they might not be there for you when you need them, narcissist friends can act caring when it serves their interest, usually at the beginning of the friendship. For example, uh, they may spend hours talking to you during a breakup just to make themselves look like uh, the best friend ever or show off their advice skill um, be careful as they might use this later to get something from you number six is they expect your time narcissists think they uh, deserve your time and often demand it if you cancel plans they might get angry if you don't meet their demands they may respond with anger threaten to find better friend or give you the silent treatment. Number seven, they put you down. Narcissists want attention and often ignore you, your achievements while focusing on their own. If you share good news like a job, job offer, they might interrupt you, change the subject or talk about themselves. Instead, this is their way to of dealing with their own insecurity and jealousy. Keep that in mind. Number eight, they have unfair demands. Narcissist friends often expect unreasonable things from you. For example, they um, might ask you to drive them to the airport in the middle of the night and not understand why you say no to them. Number nine is they rarely apologize. If you tell a narcissist friend that they hurt your feelings, they often get offensive and deny doing anything wrong. They might say, it's not my fault you're sensitive. To them, saying sorry means admitting they have flaws, which they don't like to 
do. However, they may apologize if it served their interest. For instance, if you're about to take them to a special party and they say something hurtful, they might quickly apologize. So you won't change your mind about the invitation. But even then, they will avoid talking about the issue later or become hostile if you bring it up. Number 10 is they find it hard to forgive. Narcissists not only struggle to apologize, but they also have a tough time to forgiving others. They feel entitled to special treatment and believe it is unfair if they don't get it. In regular friendship, forgetting to return a call might lead to a quick apology or forgiveness, but narcissist friends may hold grudges and adapt it to you owe me attitude to get something from you later. They might forgive you sometimes, but only only if benefits them. Number 11, they use you for their gain. Narcissists often see people as tools to help them get what they want. This means they might use you for your own resources, connections, or even bring up past mistake to pressure you into doing something for them. Some might even threaten to share embarrassing photos or tell you that you wouldn't be successful without them, trying to make you feel guilty to get their way. Number 12 is they feel jealous of you, your other relationships. Narcissists usually won't admit they're jealous of your other relationships, but their behavior will show. They need constant attention and approval. So when you focus on someone else, it makes them insecure. They may ask you to spend more time with them, try to make you end other friendship, or even create conflict between you and your other friends. Number 13 is they get angry. Conflicts can happen in any friendship but narcissists often react in extreme ways they may become hostile or aggressive if they feel they aren't getting the attention they want or if they think they are being criticized or ignored this can lead them to gossip manipulate spread lies or talk badly about you to others to protect themselves and maintain their inflated self image number 14 is you feel exhausted after being with them when you spend time with narcissist friends they usually want to be the center of attention. Often uh, they brag about themselves. They may also expect too much from you because of this. You might leave feeling frustrated, restless, and drained of energy. Number 15, they end friendships when you're no longer beneficial. Narcissists will often decide to end a friendship when they feel it no longer benefit them. So they may uh, become unhappy with the level of admiration you give notice that you're not as attentive as before or think uh, they could get more praise from someone else. Even though they constantly seek validation, it usually doesn't last long and they will often move on to a friend who offers them more attention. How to handle a narcissist friend? Dealing with a narcissist friend can be tough. You might want to set clear boundaries in the friendship. It is important to be strong about what you need because if you don't, your friend might ignore your limits. Make sure to clearly state uh, the behavior you don't want, like saying, please don't tell anyone the secret I share with you. You may need to repeat this as often as necessary since a narcissist friend might try to change the topic back to themselves. In the end, you might need to think about whether is it best to end that friendship and how to do that because it doesn't serve you anymore.